they were actually like they went through and they were like they thought this is the best photo I've they've been got. I've been stitched up. I've been stitched up by that photo. Yeah. All right, let's jump into some Roto World headlines before yes, we sir. jump into love hate. And the first headline. Because around Marquise Brown, who we've talked about, he's out indefinitely with a foot injury. He's going to miss at least a month. A lot of ripples off of this. DeAndre Hopkins, he returns from suspension tonight. Robbie Anderson will play tonight, we expect, but will be very limited. Uh, what are you doing off of the Marquise Brown news? I guess we're starting DeAndre Hopkins and Rondell Moore. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got to obviously start him. I, look, I have Hopkins as a top 20 wide receiver, not a top 10. Hopefully he ends up getting there. But last year, he was a top 20 wide receiver on a points-per-game basis. He In the five games in which he got seven or more targets, and we expect him to get that kind of love today, obviously, with Hollywood Brown on the shelf. He averaged 17.3 fantasy points per game. The biggest thing about DeAndre Hopkins last year was he, he stopped being the volume and target uh, you know magnet that he was and instead became – really touchdown dependent, which was weird. Luckily, he was getting the touchdowns. He was second in end zone targets last season. He had at least one end zone target in eight of 10 games this year as the Saints secondary travels on a short week to Arizona and they're banged up. My expectation is especially Hopkins coming back off the suspension. Kyler's going to try to get him the ball early and often, especially when they're end close. So yes, if you've been holding on to Hopkins, you're starting him. You're not thinking about it. He's right in there against New Orleans. And then as for Rondell Moore, I, I think he's a wide receiver three this week, Jay. I, since he's returned from injury, he's had six or more catches now in back-to-back -back weeks. In the three games since he's come back, 23 targets. Last week playing 99% of the snaps. We talked about it. The, all the production that the human Dorch had early in the season, that is now the Rondell Moore role in this game six different times this year a wide receiver has scored at least 15 fantasy points against new orleans i think there's a decent chance especially with a run game banged up as well the cardinals that is that both hopkins and moore could get there today yeah i think rondell moore there is a chance he's the guy you want in arizona going forward because of that upside and because hopkins fell off last year i do think though look one BetMGM has DeAndre Hopkins, his receiving yards at 62 and a half. So they're projecting that he's going to be, you know, back to being DeAndre Hopkins. And mm. also, the other thing is the Cardinals... What are the odds on any time touchdown for DeAndre Hopkins? No, we can bring that up. But uh, I think okay. he's he a good chance to get in the end. Yes, zone, I'm just saying, I don't even know what the odds are. I'm just going to tell you. Someone find out what the odds are on BetMGM. Um, give me the give me any time touchdown for DeAndre Hopkins. He's plus one twenty five. So he's Yo, plus, money. plus money. Yeah. Come on, yeah, let's give go. me plus plus DeAndre Hopkins any time touchdown at plus money. Yeah. Thousand percent the, tonight. That's the, happening. The other thing with Hopkins too is that the Cardinals are on track to be the one seed in the second half of last season. So they were running yeah. the ball a lot. It's yeah. been a steep fall. Uh, so they weren't needing to throw as much. All right, James Connor. Uh, he's got the ribs injury. He's questionable. Looks like he's going to be a game time decision uh, against the Saints tonight. So if he doesn't go, you just have to start Ian o Benjamin. And if Connor does go, then it's the you've got to start James Connor. I think. I think you're starting the. We're in by Mageddon, right? I mean, so right, no Miles Sanders, no Dalvin Cook in this one, uh, no Devin Singletary. You know, some of the other running backs out there are a little bit banged up as well. So I don't know that you have the luxury of sitting a running back that's going to get the majority of work. If James Conner is active tonight, and my guess is honestly that he won't be, yep. but um, if James Conner is active tonight, he should get the majority of work in a positive game script. Cardinals are favored at home in this one, um, and he's involved in the passing game. And if not, again, 18 touches last week for Eno Benjamin. I know it didn't show up in terms of fantasy production, but the workload is there. We expect this to be a reasonably high-scoring game uh, against the Saints. Like I you know, it's it's probably like it's probably middle of the pack off the top of my head. It's middle of the pack in terms of the over under. Yeah, it's forty three right. and a half, which oh, is so about been, well, that's about middle of the pack these days with how is. scoring is down. I was gonna yeah. say, and I feel it's been bet down because it yep. opened at forty five. So it's been it's been bent down. I might actually take the over in that one. I like um, that too. Yeah, I mean, if it's been bet down to forty three, yeah, forty three and a half, yeah, give me the over in terms of total points tonight. I, I just I think you start whoever the Cardinals running back is. Uh, the nice thing is it's Thursday, so we'll know. But yes, if Benj if Connor's out, start Benjamin. If Connor's active, I'm starting uh, James Connor today. For whatever it's worth, I did not rank James Connor, Eno Benjamin, running back 20 for me as we head into uh, the happy hour right yep. here. Benching Eno Benjamin if Connor is active. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes, I am. I, I mean, even if he might get more touches because Ben Connor's not 100. percent I just in a timeshare, I'm a little nervous there. Yep. Michael Thomas is out. Jarvis Landry is out. Uh, tonight, 
In terms of the Saints pass catching situation, it's really just Chris Olave. And then if you need some Jawan Johnson, maybe a tight end. Yeah, I mean, I, it, Jawan Johnson would be a desperation tight end streamer. But that's the, the, I mean, honestly, like if I'm streaming a tight end from this game, I, I prefer Taysom Hill, honestly, if he's available in your league. He yep. probably isn't at this point. But to your point, with no Thomas and no Landry on the road here, my expectation is you'll see probably more Taysom Hill than you want. Uh, Jameis Winston and Andy Dalton uh, both uh, returned to practice. Uh, Dennis Allen saying he's not going to reveal the quarterback until, they, until game time. My expectation here, it's the Red Rifle. That's his nickname, Jay Croucher, just yeah. so you know. The Red <laughs> Rifle, very yes. important. The Red um, Rifle. A little M. Night Shyamalan play from Dem Dennis Allen. The there you go, reveal. yes. Anyway, so uh, anyway, my, my expectation is that you see probably more Taysom Hill than people that – roster Alvin Kamara or Andy Dalton would like to see so if I have to stream one but yeah I mean Arizona has struggled against tight end so far this year so if you're super desperate um you know when you're you're in a you know obviously no Goddard this week right um you know no Tyler Higby this week uh I, d I don't mind it I don't mind Juwan Johnson as a deep as a deep deep tight end uh tight end streamer I mean I'm a tiny 20, though, so just to level yeah, yeah. set exp expectations level here. Yeah, right. I, and, and you're starting Chris Olave in every yes. league. All right, the Kansas City Chiefs are yeah. regarded as a strong contender to sign Odell Beckham Jr. Travis Kelsey restructured his contract, which doesn't just happen out of nowhere. The Chiefs are going to try and do something. What Picking pick up OG, OBJ off waivers if he is there, I think, and then also might be time to sell high on Juju Smith-Schuster coming off that big game. Uh, if he can, sure. I, I, I mean, I think it's worth trying. If you have Juju, I wouldn't mind trying to move him for something, even without the Beckham news, right? Yeah. That just, I mean, we've talked about this. That like Kelsey and Mahomes are really the only Chiefs that you feel good about on a week-to-week -week basis starting in fantasy football. Um, I don't want to get into what OBJ on the Chiefs might mean. I mean, it's a Thursday. we got a long way to go before he's healthy enough to play and whether or not he signs with KC. I think the important thing is, is that the teams that have been rumored the most around Beckham, the Chiefs, the Bills, coming back to the Rams, although apparently the Rams' first contract offer, you know, was embarrassing and he, he stormed off in a huff and blah, blah, blah. By the way, the way the Rams' season is going, maybe, you know, a month from now, they're like, you know, we're good. Yeah. You know, like, it, it ain't our year. Um at any rate, at any rate, I think what you can take away from this is that wherever Beckham's going to go, it's going to be to a contender with a really good quarterback and a pass-friendly offense, right? He's not, he's not like going like, hey, hey, uh, you know, uh, let me, uh, Carolina, let me, yeah, yeah, hey, Carol, yeah, hey, Carolina, you're yeah, willing to offer the most money, or right? Yeah, exactly. Even, even New Orleans, like, hey, let me help block for Taysom Hill. Yeah. Like, I, he's going to go to a a fantasy-friendly, pass-friendly quarterback um really good quarterback driven team and so i think that makes you feel good about that if you are grabbing obj and stashing him that when he does come back it'll be in a productive fantasy environment yep and obj went back and forth with des bryant on twitter yesterday uh very uh, opaque from obj a lot of emojis lord of the emojis odell beckham Junior, I don't really know what to read into all of those. Yeah, I mean, what does that a mean? Robot like he's, muscular he's, arm, right? So he's just like he's <laughs> like. I mean, I, I'm looking at OBJ like he's just like I don't know with the emojis, and then he's, he's zipping his fingers and peace, and then he's holding out his hand, and then he's he's writing, he's signing a contract, and then he's using his feet probably to go somewhere, and then he's. I, I reckon I, when he got to seven emojis, he was like, I need four more. I need double digit. <laughs> I, need a, I should have. I wish I'd seen that before. I'd, I'd have asked my ten-year-old daughter. Yeah. She'd have. She'd Did like. Yeah, oh like, yeah. She like would. A Zodiac killer kind of situation. A like percent. yeah. Where it's, is he going? I think it'll probably be Kansas City if they've restructured Kelsey's contract. I'd make them the better favorite. That is, that is certainly. I mean, and Kelsey has even said this, and there's an article up on Pro Football Talk that basically like something's going on. Yes. So it might uh, not be OBJ, but they're going to get someone. They're going uh, to get someone. Okay. The Packers have activated Sammy Watkins uh, from injured reserve. It won't be Sammy hamstring. Watkins. No. Yeah. Sammy Watkins. I don't think this moves the needle really at all. No. No. <laughs> no. We're bringing it up just in case you want. We're like, should oh, does this mean anything? And the answer is no. It does not. Yeah. It does not. It's Alan Lazard and then Romeo Dobbs in terms of the pass catchers of the Green Bay Packers. That's the order that we are ranking them as well. I have Lazard at running back at wide receiver 24. Dobbs running back. I'm sorry, wide receiver 32. Stupid running. Okay. 
I have Lazard at 24, Dobbs at 32. Lazard, by the way, makes my love list this week. Yeah. Um, he's average. He's averaged over 15 fantasy points a game over the past four games. He's scoring touchdowns. He's the 15th best wide receiver in the last month and as so in a good matchup with my commanders uh, as well. So uh, Alan Lazard, yes, makes my love list. I think he's a viable R- a wide receiver three in this one, and I have no interest in Sammy Watkins, fantasy or real life wise. No, and just quickly, Mac Jones expects to play Monday Night Football. That actually may not change that much without Bailey's No, the report came out, I think to just be clear about this, if Mac Jones, the report came out basically, if Mac Jones is healthy enough to go, he is the starter. I know some people thought, hey, Bailey Zappi has played very well, Zappi hour, they're 2-0. As, as Really, and give credit where credit's due. Zappi has played legitimately well, yeah. and congratulations to the Patriots. Like they've suddenly they've got two really good quarterbacks under the age of 25. Like, you know, the rich get richer. But um, but yes, there's no quarterback controversy no. here. The only issue is is that is Jones going to be healthy enough to play on Monday night? The expectation it looks like it's trending that way. The issue is is that it's the Monday night game. They're home to the Chicago Bears, and so if you're in a deep league, a two quarterback league, if you're like me, where I'm in a two quarterback league, I'm it's, this is Scott Fishbowl, Scott Fishbowl, which is an insane like 3,000 person tournament, and like it, it gets super deep, 25 man rosters, 12 teams, it's super flex league. Here are my quarterbacks in this league. Right. And by the way, I'm undefeated so far. But, <laughs> um, and yeah, NBD. But um, I think this is the week it all ends. I'm bringing that up now because I'm not going to be able to say it in a week. Here's, here's my – Josh Allen's my quarterback. That's great, pretty good. But, yeah. but he's on a bye. Yeah. He's on a bye. Carson Wentz, who, by the way, has been very good in this format. Yeah. The Scott Fishbowl has weird scoring. But he's actually been pretty good in this format. He's been a good fantasy quarterback. He's obviously out this week with the injury. I was not able – somebody outbid me for Taylor, Taylor Heineke. Uh, I, um, uh, I, I, I have Bailey Zappi. So I'm desperately hoping <laughs> Bailey Zappi plays. And then I have Desmond Ritter, who's not yet the starter. So, like, okay. I, I may not be – I don't have a quarterback There's to start no this week unless Bailey Zappi Maybe is a go. Hope for some Jacob Eason or something. I mean, something. Yeah. I may have to pick up a backup and just hope that they get into the game because I do have to start a quarterback in this league. Indeed. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched or at least – being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.